You're a little yeah. slow. Do you know how long it took Michelangelo to do the Sistine Chapel? As a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> oh, the, uh, the family next door, they lost their house. I told them they could stay here for a while. If that's okay. Very okay. Anyway, I was thinking that maybe I can give you a hand. <laughs> <laughs> do you want one of my old t-shirts to cover your, uh... Oh, yeah. No worries. Ooh, but I like this. Watch out, Giovanni Hidalgo. Let's paint. So, um, where are you from? Here, there, everywhere. Brothers or sisters? Big family. You play basketball? No, the first time I touched a basketball was yesterday. What about... What about boys? You must have tons of boyfriends. Not really. Really? You must be doing something wrong. Is that so? Yeah. Maybe you don't get the subtleties of human relationships or the, the nuance of male psychology. Well... Hey, well, maybe you can help me. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Romance 101. If you want to get a guy, you got to make him feel like a guy. You know, you, you don't shoot three-pointers. You let the guy shoot three-pointers. And even if you're smarter or more talented than the guy, you let the guy think that he's smarter and more talented. Wow, that's amazing. I would have... Never figure that out. You're a pretty incredible guy. Well, I, I know a thing or two. <laughs> so where did you learn all this delicate psychology stuff? Marines? Ask you something? Sure. It's about being a soldier. I mean, what was it like in combat? Please. I need to know. Confusion. Time adrenaline, and sadness all mixed up. What night on the moon? Can I read you something? Yeah. My dad wrote this to me. Sorry about what happened between us. I had a lot of my mind when I came home. So I'm, I made a lot of mistakes in my life. Some of which I'm not that proud of. But the best thing that ever happened to me was when I married your mom. And I had you and Mikey, your great son, I'm always proud of you even when you don't think I am. I have that picture of you when you were 10 and playing in your first game. I show all the guys. Tell them you're going to be a star. Someday I'll tell you what it's like over here. Not now. I want to know. Okay. Besides being afraid 24-7, all soldiers think about and talk about their families. 
to getting a, a letter or an email from home, a phone call. So when a soldier gets wounded, they die and they, you think they're still thinking about their family? When a soldier gets wounded, the only thing he's thinking about is his family. Your dad, when he got hurt, he was thinking about your mom, your brother, and you. That's all that mattered to him. Turn it over. No, 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 no. I told the family next door they could stay here until I was done. I'm not done yet. You will be. Soon. Wow, what an engine. Trans temperature gauge add ons, propane injector. Why would you have propane to diesel? It's like NOS, it's gasoline. Adds three times more torque. Wow. Got a turbo boost chip in here? Yep, right here. And this, this little guy. Reads your air and your fuel mixture. And when you plug it in, it takes your air and your fuel pressure and it bumps it up 130 horses. Sweet. Hey, Jake. Yeah? I have this idea. What kind of an idea? What are you doing? As you can see, uh, Christmas lights. Oh, uh, I don't get it. Go ahead. Tell her, Mikey. So Dad could see us. Not bad, huh? No, it's not bad at all. <laughs> Do you believe in God? Of course. I don't understand. What? I was God when my dad died. Right beside him. On this thing. Oh. Hey. Hi. You like trucks? I love trucks. My dad really liked them too. Mm. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Cindy. I'm Jake. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. Are you moving in next door? I almost forgot. What that? Delivery guy brought this. I uh, I signed for it. What is it? I don't believe this. What is it, Mom? What? It's a year lease for this house. Someone donated a year's rent for us. Who? I don't know. It's an anonymous donor. I mean, this is... Three days ago, we were evicted. And then Jake took us in. And Justin finished his paper, scored that winning shot for Dad. <laughs> it's a miracle. Really? I am. I gotta go. Jake, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Take care of yourself. You too. 
Bye, Tim. Bye, Jake. Bye. <sighs> hey, Justin. What's up? Semper Fi. Huh. Always faithful. I call the big room. No way. No, first we need to rearrange the furniture. Oh, come on, Jake's cute. He's no designer. You know it's not safe for a girl to hitchhike these days. You're worried about me. I like that. I have a feeling you're not surprised to see me. You got that right. Uh, anonymous donor? I had nothing to do with that. That was somebody else. You had no hand in that? You know what I've never had? Soft ice cream. <laughs> you're joking, right? No, I'm not. I know just the place. Thank you. Thank you. You like? Very much. Mm. Mind if I share a small observation? Go ahead. So, my truck breaks down and you have the fuse. You offer me a job, but then you do all the work. And I save a family? <laughs> Come on. We both know it was you the whole time. Some kind of a plan, right? It was you too, Jake. Justin needed a soldier. He needed someone who had been there, someone who understood. But no coincidence, right? Good. Yeah. You know, maybe sometimes things just happen for a reason. Life isn't so much a puzzle as it is a plan. So, tell me the truth. You, you first. About Rachel, your girlfriend. You told Cindy that she was the one driving the night that she died, but it was you, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I live, she died, but, uh... And you've been driving around this country, trying to run away from it, and that really hasn't worked out for you, has it? Not until you got out of your own head and you helped someone else. It's funny how that works out, isn't it? How when you help someone else, you heal your own wound? I have an opportunity in a little town down south that needs a mechanic. You interested? I don't know. Okay, yeah, yeah, I I'm with you, I'm with you. <laughs> you ever been on a Ferris wheel? What's that? <laughs> you know, for someone who pretty much knows everything, you sure don't know much. It's pretty ironic, isn't it? Yes, it is. I think it makes life more delicious. <laughs> yes, it does. Jake, I think we're gonna get along just fine. <laughs> <laughs> 